Okay, here we go. The ending I've been dreading. That and number two for Quill. We're at the showdown with Vic. And he wants to help Morgan very badly. So we're going to entertain his offer this time. And then I'll probably be like, <laughs> So let's see how this plays out. Help me how exactly? What was this man angling at? And was there any chance of negotiating for the safety of the others? Probably not, but I had to at least find out. It's obvious you're a potent esper, Miss Leone. Morgan. In fact, I tracked down your records from New Albion as well. I let out a long hiss when he said that. If he did that, was it possible he did know I was a queen rank? There could be room in my new administration for you. I understand you came here and got caught up with the wrong group of people. It's easy to overlook a genuine mistake like that. The wrong group of people? You mean the ones not trying to sell out Nisa to the highest bidder? He tipped his head to the side, regarding me for a moment before smiling. Morgan, the group you've aligned yourself to is sadly outnumbered. When I gain full control of this city, I think you'll find yourself better served if you're on this side of things. What exactly is your rank, Miss Leone? Bishop? Knight? Queen? There are some interesting rumors about a newly located queen that escaped a harrowing situation in New Albion. And it coincides with what I expect to be your arrival here. I'm well aware you came here seeking protection and freedom. I'm sure that you'll find it, if you align to the correct people. I think you'll find I am aligned to the correct people. There was a part of me that was almost tempted to agree. Maybe if I did, it would be a good way to bargain for everyone else's safety. Maybe I could help them from the inside. If he had already secured victory, then what we were planning was doomed to fail anyway. What if his bishops thought he won because I went with him? But only as a ruse? Ugh, and now I was trying to navigate some future path in a way that felt like cleverly trying to drop the die in a way that favored me instead of rolling them naturally. I couldn't plan things that way. You know I can't just trust you that easily. Well, we'll have plenty of time to discuss it. I'm sure you'll come around. We'll be taking her into custody. He lifted a hand, and I did not erect a shield in time. The sonic blast hit me in the torso, vibrating painfully through my body. Bale and Rory had been shot as well. Okay, he thought ahead this time and was like, I started blasting. And as I started to go down, I was relieved that it seemed like they only wanted to stun us. I didn't know how to regenerate like a rook, but I approximated what I thought was needed, just to keep myself from losing consciousness. With numbness spreading through my limbs, I somehow managed to release a blast of Psy and a wide arc in front of me. This was, as Quill had said, the point at which we needed to retreat. I crawled to Vale, intending to take them and Rory as far as I could in my current state, but... At the sight of them lying in a crumpled heap, eyes wide and unseen, I realized that... I was the only one they tried to stun. Oh no, they're dead! Vale? Vale! My voice rose to a shriek as I somehow found the strength to shake them, searching for some sign they were... No! No, no, no! An anguish wail tore itself from my body, and something inside me just snapped, shattered in an instant. Sager's men were already regrouping, and from somewhere inside me I gathered every bit of strength. I don't know if my attempt to enhancing my healing helped, or if it was just the pure rage fueling me. It didn't matter. I let the full force of my sigh explode outward, ripping into the cement, destroying the nearby generators, the railing at the river's edge, park benches, people. 
Vic Sager, now nothing more than a smear of green light in my clouded vision, tried to flee. No. Pain shot through my body, but I ignored it. And I was standing in front of him in an instant, one hand planted squarely on his chest, my side caging his arms and feet to keep him in place. Ooh, you done effed up, dude. <laughs> you are fricked. Three ways to Sunday. Get him, girl. I didn't give him the chance to speak. I couldn't. At some point, any semblance of coherent thought just disappeared behind the grief and rage. Not even just at him. At the forces that drove me from my home into Nisa. At the ones that forced Nisa to exist in the shadows. At the ones so determined to hurt my friends. At everything that everyone here had lost, gained back only to lose again. At everything. And beyond that rage, everything else was just white noise that I could ignore while I rampaged. Screaming into the chaos while tears streamed down my face. I don't know how long it lasted or when it stopped. There were some who showed up and tried to stop me. It was later a dim memory with some vague recognition. I fought back. Because these were people who were part of the problem. They were the ones that started this avalanche. Where were they when we needed them? Why did they get to show up at the end and treat me like the villain? I think I lashed out at them. And then I ran away. Far away. Because I couldn't face them and I couldn't face Quill. Because I didn't want to face myself. And if I stayed, the others could use my loss of control to attack Nisa. That much I was aware of too. So I fled. So much of it was a blur. I just ended up somewhere dark and cold, huddled in a corner with my head screaming as I did my best to make sure they wouldn't find me. But someone eventually did. Oh my god, if this is Brennan, I'm going to freaking lose my ish. I'm gonna lose it so badly. They really put people like us through a lot, don't they? <laughs> this ending turned out so much better than I could have hoped for. I am unreasonably happy. <laughs> I'm so glad. My eyes, baleful and untrusting, struggled to focus on him. But he didn't seem at all phased. He just came closer and crouched, the look on his face sad. Don't worry. I don't want to hurt you. He held his hand out with a slight smile. My name is Brennan, and I just want to help you, Morgan. You can trust me. I'll get you out of here, and we can have a long talk. I won't let anyone hurt you. Never again. I promise. I hesitated, but... Finally reached out and took the outstretched hand. I didn't know who he was, but somehow... I had a feeling... He was a friend. Allies. And that's when the Brennan Root took off! <laughs> In my head cannon. <laughs> that would be wild, though. If that was like in in a universe where Brendan Root existed. If that was like how it started, I would just be like, Pow! you play through like an entire route, and then it's like, and now the real route begins. <laughs> uh, I am so thrilled. I thought we were gonna gonna have like an Adrian situation where he like. You know, Vic was caging our girl up and, like, using some kind of mind control device to, like, use her for whatever as he, like, rules this this dome. And instead she, like, stomps on his chest, probably tore him piece by piece in, into a million pieces, and then disappeared. And Brennan's like, hey, girl, I know it's rough out there. Maybe I could help. Poor Quill. Quill got the raw end of that deal. But, uh, yeah, that was an interesting bad end. And I also love that CG. It reminded me a lot of the one from... Ah, uh, what's that game called? Oh, 
from No Bread Studio. Soul Set. It reminded me of the one from Soul Set where Mariko, like, remembers that she has necromancer powers and she's just like, waha! That was very much the vibes I got with Morgan CG there. So yeah, anyway. Go, girl. Good job on you, avenging poor Vale and Rory who died. Ugh. They got the raw, raw end of the deal, honestly. Okay, well, on that note, guys, that is going to be it for Quill. So I hope you enjoyed the endings we had with that sweet boy. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. And with that, back to Bandcamp boyfriend we go. One last boyo to smooch over there. Mr. Tom, our best friend, has been waiting for ages. I'm so curious why he's listed as the last route for that game. Probably shenanigans are in store, so hopefully I will see you over there for that. Otherwise, I'll see you when I come back here to do Reuben Kellner's route. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, I will see you later. Thank you.